So I'll show you what we've been doing for probably about a year and a half now. So like you mentioned, um, our calc, we, we do kind of a, not a super heavy slurry, but because I don't like to have to blow the lines out on the Kamoers every uh, couple days. I do it every Saturday morning with my normal maintenance just to prevent any clogs or, you know, having the out dip because it's clogged up. About a tablespoon to every two gallons of RODI and I mounted this above it so that I can just simply drain it in there every day. As so we go through about seven, eight gallons a day, this thing's dosing at, in the main system, at 10.7 mils a minute. A one tablespoon for two gallon slurry, which seems to be light enough. We run kind of a long line over, up, and into this tank. You can see it drips right here. I like it to be visual so that if I'm over here, I can be like, yep, calc is dripping. So it drips in the overflow and mixes and then... Exactly. Right, that's the perfect way of doing it. A lot of people put it in their sump and then they have to put more pumps in there. And as you can see, I've got, I got enough amps of uh, electricity being used here. If right. I can save a pump and just let gravity do its thing, I'm, I'm all about it. So um, that's kind of what we're doing there. So that's, uh, that's controlled by our Alcatronic as far as the alkalinity, which goes to the uh, apex. And you can see that it shows up here. That's really my main screen for the apex. Um, we didn't plan that, but both the pH and the alkalinity right now in the main system are 8.11. We try to keep everything above uh, about 8.1 if we can in both systems. The other system's on the right, obviously, for the quarantine. We actually pull both systems out of this bucket. So you'll see the Kamoa here is off right now because the alkalinity has gone past 8.45. That's where it kind of shuts off. In the next hour, it'll probably turn back on. So there Where's your pH? How stable it is? Since you've been closing the cups early for a little bit, how safe it is for everyone to use it? Obviously, it's not for beginners. Yeah. Obviously, for folks that are looking for that high pH, looking for more growth. What yeah. do you think are benefits for all of us, they're already doing regular clock washer dosing, us be jumping to this. Well, I'll say this. If you can do regular calc, clear calc, not hit your daily evaporation, and get your tank's alkalinity needs taken care of, do it. That's what you need to do. If you get to a point, like we do on this tank, I'm even at a point with a slurry that I can't give enough calc washer to the system. And that's why you'll see to the left, I also have the calcium reactor still hooked up and and firing. That's going 30 mils a minute. I'm at my maximum evaporation of about 16 gallons a day on this system. So I can either make the slurry stronger, but then I'm blowing out those lines. And so it's a balance of all sorts of different things, right? So you want to target your pH. I don't like it going below 8.1. I try to go 8.15 to 8.3 is kind of where we bounce um, throughout the day. Um, I'd love to pin it and have it dosed to 8.3. For me, it's just, I, I've tried doing it and locking it in and I just can't get the, uh, the amount of slurry that would need to be dosed to keep it at 8.3 at night is more than my evaporation. So again, I would have to go to a thicker slurry, which I just have not had great luck with because I have to blow those lines out every two days. Yeah. Um, I could probably somehow move all of that stuff closer to the tank. So the come over to tank distance is like two feet that would probably help it, but um, that's quite a project. So I haven't, uh, I haven't embarked on that yet. For now, this is working for me. Keeping that pH above eight was really, you know, when we started doing that a couple of years ago, insane how not just growth rate increased, but corals types in general, species in general, that would be really slow growers suddenly perked up and were growing faster. A little bit more polyp extension. I think maybe the calc washer keeps nutrient wise a little bit more in check and in balance, right. more anecdotal than anything. Yeah, we've run some version of this, whether it was clear or slurry for like 15 years, but I thought it might be easier a few years ago. I got the Avast, um, you know, calc, uh, what do you call Stir. it? Stir, right? Um, which is great if you're dosing clear. And that's where I would say everybody should start do not put it, let's put this out there, 
do not put it in your auto top off. Do not, right. not put calc in your auto top off. The, uh, the margin for error there is, it's gonna happen, right? You, something's gonna happen where you take water out, and now your ATO is gonna dump a ton of calc in, and your alk and your pH are gonna go through the roof. And the pH, you know, within reason isn't gonna kill anything. But that alk swing might, if your pH comes back down. Sure, sure. Um, Which pump are you using right there so you can mix your slurry? Yeah, so this is uh, something I found on Amazon. Happy to share the link with anybody. And I extended to reach pretty close to the bottom of the bucket, so, the stirrer. Right, 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 right. The old mustache propeller. And I put that mustache propeller about halfway extended. And it's, again, a little bigger than the one that came with it. And it does a fabulous job. I have it spinning, you know, pretty slow. And it, it makes pretty pretty nice vortex in there when it's uh, when it's going. So we right. If you guys have any questions as far as Calc Bosser, just drop them down below. I'll make sure for Justin to see them. He's going to answer them over there on YouTube. I'll help up as well. You'll also see the three part in there. That is just for the Dostronic. If suddenly growth, which it does on most days around 4 to 6 p.m. We test alkalinity every hour and um, 4 to 6 p.m. is where that ramp for the day for us starts. Our light cycle is 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So towards the end of the day is, which most people see is when their usage is highest. So it'll kick a couple hundred mils of uh, three part in there just to kind of keep the alk from dipping too much. And that's just a three part we mix that's just normal three part uh, with the Tropic Marin A and K.